Drivers and passengers on a major road in southwest China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region have recently caught a glimpse of a young man riding a bicycle and pulling a wheelchair along with his dog. Sitting in the wheelchair is his girlfriend. Ding Yizhou, who is in his 20s, has been traveling across China with his girlfriend Lai Nin since the start of the year. The pair have camped out in sugarcane fields along the way and plan to eventually trek around the entire country. We plan to arrive in Guangxi's capital of Nanning first and then head for Yunnan province. Yunnan is very beautiful. I will take her there. After Yunnan, we will go to Tibet if we can. We will have to research the routes to see which one is the easiest for us to take. And then we will head back to the central part of the country and visit places like Xi'an, Lanzhou, and Zhengzhou. Of course, we will try to visit Beijing, and then there is Harbin in the country's northeast. We will visit Wuhan on our way back to Guangxi. This way, the places we plan to travel will trace the shape of a heart on the map. Ding and his girlfriend were classmates in primary school. Although they began to lead separate lives after growing up and finding work in different cities, they were brought together in 2014 after sharing similarly tragic life experiences. Both had lost parents, and Lai had been diagnosed with cerebellar ataxia, a condition that has robbed her of her ability to walk. Her deteriorating condition inspired Ding to help her fulfill her desire to travel. We bought a tent. Since I'm a pretty poor, we bought mostly cheap stuff. I also had to weld together a stainless steel bracket by myself to reinforce the wheelchair. The young couple started their journey on January 3, 2015. Friends have driven to them during their journey to bring them emergency goods. After their story went viral online, many strangers started stopping to give them a lift. However, they have insisted on going their own way each time. One kind donor presented them with an electric tricycle that they will be able to use to replace the wheelchair when they arrive in Nanne. Although the journey has not always been smooth, both have enjoyed their trip thus far. Our journey has a beginning, but there is no end point. To be honest, if I can survive this trip, I will ask him if we can go on another one.